name is Katrina Carey, member of the Suffolk Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. And today we're going to read Grace Goes to Washington by Kelly DiPuccio. So without further ado, let's see what happens when Grace, who's student council president, goes to Washington. On Friday afternoon in April, Mrs. Barrington shared a large diagram of the three branches of government. But Grace Campbell could not stop daydreaming about the upcoming field trip to Washington, D.C. Grace, do you know who's in charge here, Ms. Barrington asked? Who's in charge here, Grace repeated. Principal Perez? A few of the classmates giggled. Well, said Mrs. Barrington, I suppose you could say Principal Perez is like the executive branch here at Wilson Elementary because she's the head of our school. But right now, we're talking about the U.S. government. Sorry, Grace answered. The president, he or she, leads the executive branch. That's correct, Miss Barrington smiled. The president. The last bell of the day rang. We'll discuss more next week, she announced. Student council members, Grace and Sam, don't you forget you have a meeting after school. And then you see Grace and Sam on their way to their meeting. At the meeting, classroom representatives were discussing their ideas on how to spend the money from their holiday bake sale. Thomas and his committee petitioned for new sports equipment. Grace and her committee thought new books for the library was the way to go. Principal Perez even offered her own suggestion. The music room sure could use some new instruments. And Mr. Marshall, the media center teacher, listened carefully to all of their arguments and took notes. Sounds like a pretty intense discussion, right? You see everyone pitching their ideas because they think that's the best way to support the school. They're all good ideas, Grace later admitted to Sam. There's no way we'll agree before the vote next week. You know what I was thinking during the meeting, Sam asked? No, what? If Principal Perez is like the executive branch, I think the student council is kind of like the legislative branch because we're the elected leaders from each class and we help make the decisions for the school. Grace considered Sam's comparison. Yeah, who knew so many people had a say in how to spend cookie money, she grumbled. So as Sam and Grace are learning about the branches of government in class, they're also thinking about how it works with their student council and their principal in their school because the executive branch is the head of the country as well as the head of the school which would be like the president or in this case principal perez and then the student body is like the legislative branch that helps with making the decisions which for the united states would be laws and for the school would be decisions about maybe how to spend fundraiser money the following day, Grace could hardly contain her excitement. It was finally field trip day. As the bus drove down Pennsylvania Avenue, cherry blossoms dotted the streets like pink pom-poms. Grace and her classmates visited the Lincoln Memorial, the U.S. Capitol where the legislative branch meets. Here's a picture. and the Supreme Court building. That's where you'll find the judicial branch and the Supreme Court judges, Sam pointed out. They decide if our rules are and laws are fair. Kind of like Mr. Marshall does at our student council meetings, Grace added. During a tour of the White House, home of the executive branch, 
Grace's dream of becoming president felt more real. Let's do this at the Grace and her friends at the Supreme Court building. And then also in the executive branch of the White House or the Oval Office of the White House. Their final stop of the day was the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial. Grace studied the words engraved on the monument and thought about their meaning. Make a career of humanity. Commit yourself to the noble struggle for equal rights. You will make a greater person of yourself, a greater nation of your country, and a finer world to live in. You see the Lincoln Memorial, the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial, and the words that Grace was reading and internalizing and thinking about her own um, career and what she wants to be. At recess the next day, arguments about what to purchase for the school grew more heated. Look at this crummy basketball, Clara complained. It's practically worthless. At least you have a ball, Fletcher groaned. There are two new books in the Ninja Wizard series, but our library doesn't have either one. Hannah lobbied the loudest for new instruments. Well, I for one am sick and tired of playing the recorder in music class. Principal Perez is right. A few days later, the student council's last meeting of the year was being called to order. Bake sale profits, vote today. Excuse me, Grace interrupted. Before we vote, Thomas and I would like to introduce you to someone. This is Amon. He's new to our school. We'd like all of you to consider one more option for how to spend the bake sale money. Together, they rolled out a big poster. We're calling it the Friendship Mall, Thomas said proudly. Amon helped us design it. It's a place where you can go at recess to let other students know when you need a friend, Amon explained. Next, Thomas spoke about their field trip to Washington, D.C., and Grace read a quote from Martin Luther King, Jr. A finer, kinder world starts with us and the choices we make, she concluded. Thank you for listening. There's a picture of the Friendship Mall design, the poster. Everyone clapped. Principal Perez wiped away a few tears. Mr. Marshall pounded his gavel. It's time to vote. After the ballots were collected from each classroom representative and the votes were called or tallied, student council president Grace Campbell peeked at the results and grinned. It is a unanimous decision, she announced excitedly. All members are in favor of... What do you think happened here? Do you think they voted for the Friendship Mall or something else? The unanimous word means that everyone voted for the same thing. So let's see what they voted for. <gasps> it's the Friendship Mall. The room filled with happy tears. Principal Perez took a seat and then much like the president signs a bill into law, she approved the election results, making the decision official. Today, you put your own wants and needs aside in order to serve others, she said. That is true leadership. And this time, everyone agreed. And taking a look at the picture, everyone is so excited that the mall has been built. 
where a place where people can go to make new friends. And look what you see in the picture there. Picture of signs of people being the change, being united, acting out of kindness, knowing what it's like to serve others. And here we have the conclusion of Grace Goes to Washington. So not only did Grace and Sam and their classmates learn about the executive branch, the judicial branch, and the legislative branch and the purpose that they serve, but they also got to visit monuments like Lincoln Memorial and Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial, where they were reminded of what it's like to serve others and the importance of serving others. And they were able to take their experiences and come back and share an idea that every student would benefit from instead of someone liking just instruments or someone liking just new books in the library. Everyone always is looking to make a new friend or to be a great friend. And the Friendship Mall allowed them to accomplish just that. If you are interested in having this book or checking this book out from your library, the book is called Grace Goes to Washington, and the author is Kelly DiPuccio.